The building aims to present what the landscape has to offer. It sort of gives you all the luxury, but doesn't interfere with what the landscape is and what the landscape sort of presents to, to a guest. So 57 is located in the Valgefonden Game Reserve in, in Limpopo, um, just north of Pretoria. And, you know, the, the, the defining aspect of the site and actually the whole reserve is, is the rolling or the layers of the Waterberg Mountains and, and the natural bush felt. So, I mean, that's absolutely defining of the Waterberg and, and, and the natural context had to, had to be priority and, and the first, the most important aspect about anything that you design there. I mean, honestly, there's nothing that we can design or build that will improve upon the natural context. So, so the only way to approach it was how do we slot into that or make the most of it and, and make sure that any guests or anyone that goes there or use these buildings are actually just made aware of, of the best aspects of, of, of the site. Um, and, and then added to that is the, the big five and all the animals. So it's just, that's just another layer along with the felt and, and the mountains. It's quite challenging building something in, in the middle of nowhere, but um, it, is, it was quite exciting as well, kind of thinking of new ways to build something and kind of new ways to, to get all the materials there and what type of materials we use obviously was um, quite challenging as well and that we, we try to use materials of the area, um, natural materials. Um, and uh, I think one of our biggest challenges was um, sometimes the elephants, um, stopping, the, stopping the trucks, um, keeping, um, breaking the water pipes. Um, so we had kind of challenges that was not in a normal site, which is not kind of conventional, but it all, um, it was quite exciting as well. So material use is, is really important. Um, when we talk about a, a building in a natural landscape, um, we need to take that through and give the integrity to the building to use natural materials as well. Um, so the, the, there's a few natural materials. Rock is probably the, the main material. I mean, it's scattered all over the landscape. So a lot of the, the walls that we use for privacy is almost the theory of you, you push the rock together and you create these privacy screens. It's the same material, just in a different shape. Um, the other material is, is, is wood. I mean, obviously the felt is, is, is covered with that. And, 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 and refining that and reusing it in exact purpose that where, where it's needed. So from the decking to the tongue and groove flooring or the bulkhead ceilings, it, it was really important to bring that in. And, and, and view that as a, almost a refinement of the landscape, but it's still the landscape. And, and, and whether that be a philosophical connection to the landscape, you want to look at the landscape, but also refine it and make it, make it, and make it sort of saying that's, that's tangible and, and close to, to someone that be using the room. The Luna Wood actually reacts to our climate in a very, very good way. Um, amazing thing outside, the wood actually changes to grey, which is beautiful and becomes very natural. And inside it keeps that warm brown feeling, almost like a caramel colour, which is also very friendly and, and just a fantastic colour to work with in the interior. So the Luna Wood, the way it's been treated, it's a fantastic wood because um, the long liberty of it is fantastic. You can use a much cheaper wood, um, but then it, after a few years we have to redo everything. So now we've got a sustainable product that will last a long time. Um, and that's the positive side about it. The guests that arrive there, they, they're looking for the African experience, but with the luxury. Um, so we have to get that contrast about you are in the African landscape, but you've got the luxury around you. And that's where Luna would really uh, tick all the boxes around that.